Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne. It's time for issue... 88 miles per hour! That's right, it's issue 88 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Okay, as you can see from the back here, we're going to be putting seatbelts in the vehicle. Nice and safe. Same things are going to be safe. Look at the state of the bodywork there. The vehicle's upside down. Not very safe, but we do need seatbelts for that because uh, if that's going to happen to the vehicle, we don't want any injuries, do we? Uh, this is what we've got here. As you can see, we've got two seatbelts and some paneling for the inside. And they gave us DM, FP and IP screws. Uh, just show you what we've got to do in the magazine. Uh, we've got to put these into the little frames here, screw them in, and then put these all into the vehicle. There's two lots of interior um, cladding, or whatever you want to call it, um, fascias, I don't know. Two lots of interior to put in the vehicle there. Um, they're all going to be attached. Should be a nice quick issue, to be honest with you. So uh, let's get cracking on it straight away. Why do I keep looking up there? I keep looking up there because I've uh, moved my room around, and now I've got a big, massive 42-inch telly in front of me, and my monitors go up here and up here. So I've got monitors everywhere. It looks like a scene from the end of War Games, if you remember that, with all the... The screen's up and do you want to play chess or global thermonuclear war? We like a bit of 80s pop culture here, don't we? Okay, right, let's get cracking on this. So first things first, we've got to identify the correct seatbelt. Now these seatbelts here have got, if I show you on that one there, little letter at the front there, that one says L for left. And obviously this one here is going to have little R just above that little point there saying R for right. Um, they want us to work with the left one first. The left one is 88A. Uh, and we're going to be putting it in the uh, frame that looks just like this. So all we're going to do is, uh, this has got a little key sort of pattern on it there. Uh, and it's going to follow the same hole that we've got in there. So we put that in and it will fit nice and flush. Turn it round and we're going to be securing this in place with an IP screw. So I've already opened these bags. So hopefully an IP screw will just fall out, which it has. We'll load the screwdriver up and we'll get this in. Most of these uh, issues have been quite long lately, so it'd be nice to have a uh, one that isn't so long. Uh, and that's the belt on. I'm just looking at how that is at the moment. I think it's probably best not to do it too tight. If you leave it a little bit loose, it's going to be able to sit straight. That's better. And then tighten it up afterwards because you don't want it sitting at a weird angle, do you? So that's that one in there. Uh, next one, uh, we're going to be doing exactly the same thing on the other side. So again, we'll get an IP screw out for this. We'll put that loaded up. And once again, we'll just attach this into there like that and screw it in. Well, so the first four, five issues, should I say, have gone nice and easy. And then once again, as you can see, that's nice and straight. So we've got two lots of seat belts in there now. Okay, now we need to bring over this bit here. And as you can see, I've got this already on a towel. So I'm not going to be breaking anything. And I'm going to look at the best um, camera angle to get this actually lined up for you. Okay, so step six, we're going to need just this part here. And this part here is just going to be fitting just around the fascia of the door there. But as you can see, we've got the wire here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide most of the wire with this so that when we put this in, actually, let's put this in now, we won't see any of the wire. As a matter of fact, the only bit of the wire we're going to see once this is in, is just a little tiny bit just there. I don't think there's any way of hiding that. Uh, this is going to be secured in with one screw just in a hole that we've got over the top here, which is just down there. Uh, the screw they want us to put in there is a DM screw. Uh, once again, I've already opened my uh, packet of DM screws. So we'll get one of these in. Now, I always find the metal screws are the ones that are a pain to go in. So what I'm going to do is put it in really slowly. There we go, that's going in absolutely lovely. Once that's in, can't go in any further. That's just that fascia in there. That's the only thing that's holding this one in, just that one screw there, which is quite interesting. Uh, so that was uh, step seven done. Once again, we're gonna make sure you can see what we're actually working on there. And again, we're gonna do exactly the same thing in this side. So again, we're gonna hide that wire, put it in where it's gonna go. It's gonna fit in just like that, once to pop out, this thing does. Uh, and we'll get load up another DM screw, and get this in. So, there we go. Doing all the interior. <laughs> okay, almost in. 
you've got to be really tight but slow on these because you don't want to round the heads but uh, basically that's that bit of fascia in there that was step uh, nine done okay so step 10 we're going to be attaching just this little bit of plastic here uh, onto this bit of the frame here it's going to go in just like that now before I put that in because uh, that's where it's going to go into these two holes here I did notice that I already had a DM screw in this hole here which I believe was holding on the bodywork so I've had to take that out for this to be able to fit in nice and flush just like that so now I can get these DM screws in um, so be careful of that you might have already uh, put a DM screw in there to hold the bodywork on so uh, we'll get these in that's the first one in nice and tight and then the second one and just looking it is the same on the other side so uh, I don't know if it tells you in the instructions that you need to take the screw off you've already put in there but in an earlier issue we would have already put a screw in there so uh, don't get caught out by that which is why <laughs> I keep saying it I find these things out so you don't have to there we go that's one side in so we're turning around oh god this thing's getting so heavy now and we're going to be putting the other one in now which is going to be going in just this side here nice and easy to get these in and that is basically it okay so once they're both in on one side we've got to put a, a screw in into the doors so what we're going to do is we're going to have to lift up one of these doors so i'm turning it around and as you can see oh i'll just take my living uh, wing mirror off i'll put that back on in a minute uh what i'm going to have to do is undo the masking tape i've got here to lift the door up and i'm just going to see if i have got one of my uh, little plastic black plastic blocks to put in here I have got my little black plastic lock so I'm going to keep the door open uh, and I'm going to turn this around so you can see what we're actually screwing in so hopefully you can see but we've got a little hole just under here here there which we're going to be putting an FP screw in and that's just going to keep the last of that um, fitting uh, on the vehicle so let's get the first FP screw in I'm sure this is very hard to show you on camera but that's that first screw in so I'm just going to put that back down and I'm going to put the tape back on the door because I don't want them flying off because I will be having a bad time if I do that take the stickiness of the door so I can lift the door up just like that and once again we're going to be putting an FP screw Oops. Uh, let's get it together just in the little hole in this recess just there hold the other side when you're doing that because uh, that little seat belt frame is going to want to come out and there we go that's that screw let's move this out of the way that's that screw in just like that and then that is it that's all we have to do for issue 88 so nice simple issue that one uh issue 89 let's have a look what we got coming uh god this looks like a really simple issue uh we've basically got the engine cover that's it that's all we're gonna have to do just the engine cover nice and easy four screws could be five who knows anyway that will be coming next thursday hope you like that nice quick video take care